Hi, welcome. This video will lead us to the demo of Rich Receiver Initial Client Head Multicast Approach for Grid Application. In this paper, we examine an approach in which approximately similar resources and receivers are clustered into multicast groups. The goal is to maximize preference overlap within each group while satisfying the constraint of limited network resources we present a clustering framework that groups new sources and receivers together and an adaptation phase that regroup them from interaction with other nodes ip multicast is an efficient point of multi-point delivery mechanism because data disseminated to a large group travels only once through the common parts of the network. However, this efficiency is often constrained by network and n-host heterogeneity. When receiving rates and processing speeds vary at the receivers, clustering assumes simple network primitives provided by the current IP multicast service model. Packets sent to a multicast address are delivered to all n hosts subscribed to that address this solution is appropriate because it wastes both network resource and cpu processing cycles in handling the unnecessary data it is fully based on the clustered network the resource efficiency and dependability are the most fundamental requirements in the network it is fully based on the cluster head in the clustered environment. Due to this, we have better efficiency compared with the existing system. First of all, the job creation. Job creation is the first thing. The jobs are created and then it is submitted. The user creation is the second thing. The users are created only. The jobs are submitted. Then the cluster head. The cluster head is the important role in cluster because the cluster head is the center for all the cluster nodes. The cluster head have the data or the cluster head can access the data from other cluster heads. So that only cluster head is important in the cluster. Then the client request. The client request is transferred for access the data the clients or the cluster nodes we have four nodes there are four cluster nodes present in a cluster any one of the cluster node submit the request to the cluster head that the node needs the data for that the cluster head search whether the data is present in a same cluster head or any other different cluster head if the data is present in the same cluster head means then it suddenly splitting the data into four cluster nodes if the data is not present in that cluster head means then it will search for the data in other cluster heads then it get the data from there and then it split into four because we have four cluster nodes then after splitting each part of the file or data is transferred to each node so that the file or data is split into four parts and each part is transferred to each node then all the nodes get data from the cluster head each of them having the single part after that the final stage the data sharing this data sharing is used very much because the access of the data is reducing the storage in the nodes so the data accessing or sharing by the in between the nodes are very important in this project let us see the demo of rich receiver initial client head multicast approach for grid application first of all 
click this image then this is the place for job creation now the jobs are created these jobs are the input and then we have to create the users these users submit the jobs so that only we have to create the users for that file then press create now the users are created and then press resource now the resources means the cluster head one because there are many clusters for that each cluster there are different cluster heads like cluster head one and cluster head two then the cluster head is ready for get the request from the nodes for that we have to run request form dot java run file then this is the request form here you have to request here data from the cluster or that click browse and then search where the cluster head then the cluster head contains the data means then select it and then press send request now the cluster head can receive the data by clicking the accept request button the cluster head now receives the request from the node then the cluster head needs to view the data for that if you press view button means then the cluster head can find out the data is present in cluster head 1 then press ok this is the content in the data then press splitting this is the next step if you press the split button means the, the data in the cluster head 1 is split into four parts because the clusters because the nodes in the cluster is four so that only the data is split into four parts now the files are split and then press ok now all the nodes in the clusters are ready to receive the data for that we have to run cluster node 1 cluster head 1 that is the cluster node 1 in cluster head 1 so that we have to press get from ch here it is the node 1 the node 1 get the data from cluster head this is the first part and then you have to run cluster node 2 in cluster head 1 now run file and here the node 2 get the data from the cluster head it is the second part after that we have to run cluster node 3 in cluster head 1 the node 3 get the third part from the cluster head then now we have to run cluster node 4 in cluster head 1 now the cluster node 4 can receive the data from cluster head this this is the fourth part then all the nodes receive the parts successfully now the nodes can share the data first of all go to node 1 the node 1 now get the data from node 2 so that select the data and click open now the node 1 can get the data from cluster node 3 for that select the data and press open now the node 1 get the data from cluster node 4 if a failure occurred in cluster node 4 means then the cluster head 1 is automatically provide the data to node 1 and then likewise the node 2 the node 2 can get the data from node 1 for that select the data and press open and then the node 2 also can get the data from node 3 for that get from cn3 then select the data now press get from cn4 because the cluster node 4 is already failure so that it can also get the data from cluster head so click open and then we have to get the data from cluster node 1 for node 3 so that press get from cn1 the select the data and press open and then get the data from cluster node 
2 for that select the data and then get the data from cluster node 4 the node 4 is failure so get the data directly from the cluster head 1 and then go to node 4 the node 4 can get the data from node 1 so that select the data and press open and then the node 4 can get the data from node 2 so that select the data and press open and then finally the node 4 get the data from node 3 so that select the data and press open now all the nodes are shared the data they received from cluster head if any node failure is occurred means then the cluster head can provide the data this will reduce the overhead of the cluster head and also it is easy for sharing the data in between the nodes it will reduce the time for transfer the data from cluster head to other nodes thanks for watching this video